Hey everybody, this is Kwaku from NextGen Windows bringing you a Windows 8 app first look. Uh, this first look application is the new Bing food and drink application for Windows 8.1, the preview. See, I'm already still getting used to saying 8.1. But the new Windows 8.1 application called Bing food and drink, basically all it is is like all those other recipe applications that you've been seeing me uh, review on my channel. Only this is Microsoft's uh, version, which they go under the Bing brand. So for starters, you can see you have the main screen here. It's a different look than the new than the Metro, what we're normally used to. But you can see all of the chefs here. You can see tips and techniques. You can see recipes, and you can see uh, this little menu tab right here. You can see search, and then of course you can see the big thing, the big picture that Bing, the Bing apps are, you know, famous for doing. They do these uh, nice, crisp pictures uh, that allow you to just see, you know, something, a, a featured item right here. So we can click on the item. We actually have to click on the title, and then we get to the recipe screen. So we'll start off here in the application. Uh, you can see this is the recipe screen so if you're trying to figure out you know what recipe to make this is one of them uh, I guess it's called lime cheesecakes uh, so you can see right here you can see prep time makes yield you can see all the little information down here you can see the ingredients the steps uh, notes you can also see uh, you know in the advertisement over here and of course the search box that you'll see right here another thing that you'll notice is that there's a lot of white space over here like a lot of white space. In fact, anyone who scrolls over or swipes over will be able to notice that your hand can pretty much fit in this space, and that's too. That's when you know there's too much white space that you have. Uh, but in general, it is a good-looking application. Another feature you can do with it, this application, is you can see the source, as you can see right here. So you can see it came out of a, this cookbook, and then you can also add to collections, and I can name the collection. So if I want to name it desserts and I can hit OK and now it's added to my collection I can view the collection which I won't do yet uh, and it goes away you can add to your meal planner let's add to our meal planner too so for Monday actually you know let's say for Friday we wanted to uh, include a note we wanted to say it's cheesecake and then we hit add now it's been added to the meal planner also which we'll check out later on you can add to shopping list which basically allows you to add uh, whatever one of these ingredients to your shopping list. So we'll add all five of these to the shopping list and then we'll add selected items. And now you'll notice that has been added to our shopping list. So now we're going to, next thing we're going to check out, which is probably the coolest feature that I heard when they announced it, was actually, was actually the uh, hands-free mode. The hands-free mode basically allows you to, <coughs> sorry, basically allows you to not even touch the screen to do anything. Uh, you can just swipe using your camera on your computer or your tablet just to swipe through, you know, this recipe. So, for instance, it's it's a little gimmicky though. But all you have to do is uh, when you turn on your camera, when it turns on your camera, then you can start swiping. See, it doesn't work all the time, but you know, normally you're able to just start swiping and then it just starts working. So let's try it again. So hands-free mode doesn't really work at all. I've been trying it just now. You can't see it, but I've been trying to do it, and it doesn't really work all the time. It might be laggy, it might be buggy or whatever, but you can see it's not slow because if I'm able to click on these squares and they pretty much go instantly to the page I'm looking for, that means there's a problem with the camera and hardware. Uh, there's an issue with the software, actually, because you can see I'm trying to scroll through. See, it works now, now that I did it but it, it doesn't work all the time it's 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 little you know it's a little wonky just like you know when Samsung introduced it in their S4 they announced I guess it's whatever the air gesture or air whatever but it's kinda like that uh, it's it's pretty cool though uh, when I heard they announced it I was pretty wild because I was I was thinking that's exactly what Samsung has been doing but now this is OS wide it's not just one platform or one device actually so anyone will be able to use this if they can get it to work uh, let me know if you guys actually get this to work properly, like exactly when you want it and it's smooth. But again, this is a preview, so we can't expect the most out of it. Uh, you can see the search tab right here. So if we want to search for, say, yogurt, I can learn to spell. I think I just spelled yogurt. Wrong. No, I spelled it right. For some reason, it doesn't want to. Uh, it, it doesn't want me to uh, fill it in. So let me just click on this recipe here. 
And then you can see uh, yogurt chocolate chip cookies, which sounds pretty amazing to me. Uh, but in general, you can see the source. It came from all recipes. Uh, and when you click on this all recipes, it actually takes you straight to the website. And you can see the snap view, how it looks like uh, right here. And you can see the different snap modes that they have on the new Windows 8.1. So if you want to shrink it to this small, you can. If you want to shrink it to this, you can. Uh, you know, there's different there's different things, and you can see it resizes on its own. Uh, and then you can continue scrolling over. This image probably just doesn't work. No, it's it's an issue that doesn't work. So uh, we will just go back out and just oh, this is an advertisement. See, I didn't even realize it until just now. It's all part of a first look. And you can see the three steps as usual, and then you can see another ad. And it even brings in, you know, the all recipes application that they already have for Windows 8. Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, we can go back to the home screen. In fact, let's right click and see the options. This is the usual layout for, you know, the Bing applications on Windows 8. That it has these menu on top, and you can scroll through and see different options. Let's close this out. You can see different options. And so swipe it from the top, swipe down from the top, and you get this uh, menu here. Just right click, you get the menu. You can go back home, click on recipes. You can hit tips and techniques, wines, cocktails, shopping list. So when we click on shopping list, uh, I did add things to my shopping list. I'm not sure why it didn't show up. So let's let's add this to shopping list. Uh, let's add uh, let's add these to the shopping list. These three. And now it should it should have been added. So let's right click and go back to shopping list. Apparently there's a problem with the shopping list thing, so let's let's do this again. Let's go to um, eggs. Let's add eggs. So when we click on eggs, it doesn't really do anything. So that's a little thing I don't like about this. I was hoping that the shopping list would like pre-fill in results from what you were uh, doing. Maybe it could. You could type in eggs, and it could say it could it could show you a suggestion of maybe like six count eggs or something like that, so that you remember. But I guess it doesn't do that. Again, this is a preview version, so maybe they'll fix it later on. But you can see this is how you exit, and that's how you do it. You can also notice that when I tried to add something to the shopping list, it didn't get added. So it's another uh, buggy problem with the preview version of an application. Uh, but essentially, this is a this is a pretty cool looking application. It looks pretty nice. Another thing we'll take a look at is the the today's meal plan thing. If you notice, I added something to Saturday. So let's head to Saturday, and you can see Friday. I mean, not Saturday, Friday. And you can see the lime cheesecakes got added to Friday. So when you click on it, you go to the recipe. So it's a pretty good organization application. I would say this would be something for people who have a small PC or maybe a small touch device in the kitchen and they like to keep organized instead of using a paper calendar. They want to keep all their meal plans together and everything like that so they know exactly what they need and when. This will be a good application for that. Another thing we're going to take a look at is the recipes tab. You can't exactly click on the recipes word like how uh, you know the regular Windows 8 uh, used, used to be how you could always click on the tabs on top. This application you have to click on browse recipes or you can hit get grilling. Uh, you can click on all these tabs over here. I'm pretty sure these will always change especially the summer's best pasta. And then these are some other recipes here which I won't click on. Uh, but we'll hit browse recipes just to take a look at how it looks like. So we can see first first thing is you have filters here. You can see different courses, cuisines. Uh, so we click on cuisine and it brings up another menu which brings you all the different cuisines that they have on this application alone and then using the good thing that I like about this is that when you just drag your mouse to the top or bottom it automatically uh, scrolls to the top or bottom so you can see I'm not even clicking it's just scrolling because you would hear me clicking so it's a good thing you don't have to actually click on anything you can just scroll through on their list of stuff and then when you want to click on say Russian and you click on it and it brings in the beef this beef stroganoff recipe which also looks really good uh, but you can also see here it gives you all these little filters you know that you can filter the course main dish obviously this is the only dish under Russian uh, so it's the only thing that will show up but you can narrow down by a lot of stuff we'll go back into recipes and take a look at other stuff you can click away this uh, filters tab which so that you can just view the recipes in general and you can search for them uh, when you go to this tab, you can also see that uh, you get more options when you swipe up from the top or bottom. Uh, you get the help button right here, which let's see what it does. It brings you to you know topics of uh, about food, I guess, and how to use the application. So that's another that's a 
pretty good thing they added help that you don't have to go to the charms bar to add help I guess this is all part of the push of Microsoft going straight to uh, making sure desktop users you know get the best of all the world so we go back and then we can scroll over some more you can see different chefs you can see tips and techniques let's click on that page fail to load so let's, let's try again and see if it loads no page fail to load let's try how to stir fry wait for this thing to load up here's a nice picture of the, I guess stir fry ingredients uh, it teaches you basically what the photos are and how they you know what they're talking about with each photo basically different captions and stuff like that that's a cool thing that they did uh, we're go, we'll, we'll go back take a look at some other stuff let's let's take a look at uh, under this right here under the recipes you can hit see more uh, this this brings you to where the filters thing showed you so that's nothing different and then we'll scroll over let's go to chefs so let's say we want to go to Marcus Samuelson if I said his name right so you can see uh, his I guess you can see a biography of him and you know you can read about him and stuff like that obviously it's coming soon because this is this app is technically like a beta uh, we can click on uh, Vikas Khanna I don't know if I said his name right but again you can see how what Microsoft is getting to when they're talking about this you click that minus arrow and you go back in so it's cool see right here you click the minus arrow it takes you to the overview I guess if there are multiple chapters about him then you could click the minus arrow to go to an overall view about you know this this chef so when we want to go back all we have to do is in fact hit home so we'll click home uh, let's let's take a look at some like a few more things over here uh, so we take took a look at chefs already tips and techniques now let's look at food culture uh, again so these are probably be little articles and different uh, things talking about different ideals of food so quench your, thir your thirst with cool drink ideas and click on the wrong thing let's, let's go back to what I actually you know was talking about so it brings up an article talking about our drink ideas and stuff like that you can read through it I'm pretty sure this is from like MSN or something like that but it's a pretty cool thing uh, you can it's it looks nice just like you know the Bing applications always have looked you can see when it was posted and stuff like that so it looks just like uh, the Bing news applications in the article view you can see food culture some more stuff see more see more brings up like a almost like a flat magazine type of interface which looks pretty cool uh, you can scroll straight through ice cream bread that that sounds pretty amazing uh, so anyways you know food is really something that I like a lot so you'll notice that I'll get off topic a lot but you can take a look at wine you can browse different wines and stuff it'll bring up the same interface as before I won't get into that it's the same and then cocktails would be the same interface if I click browse uh, let's let's scroll over some more and I think that's I think that's about it let's take a look and obviously there's next steps over here at the far right you won't notice until you scroll over or swipe over to the far right uh, you'll get customized food and drink you can by customize they mean you can customize what sections show up and you can add more sections if you want to I'm pretty sure this is like all the sections that you could possibly want so I won't even change that but you can you know you can rearrange it just like how on the on the what is called the start screen uh, so we'll just leave it there and then we'll go back and then you can also add a recipe so if you want to add a recipe that say you've created you can use your camera or add an image file and title it write the ingredients steps and everything like that and I think this whole thing becomes populated with a lot of people's uh, you know a lot of people's recipes so that way you constantly have a fluent uh, you know a fluent list of recipes that you can decide to make so it's a pretty cool thing that I like about this too uh, but in general, yeah, this this is pretty much the uh, the the official food and drink application for Bing now. Before they only had like news applications, now they have food and drink. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. At least if they if they didn't have food and drink before, but this is what I noticed uh, that they have a food and drink application now with you know this gesture view, note, which is called hands free mode, that almost barely works, and then they have the usual you know stylization that they have for their Bing applications that always look really nice 
But yeah, in general, this is the Bing food and drink application shown off on Windows 8.1 Preview. Uh, you can take a look at Windows 8.1 Preview in many videos on YouTube, but check back on this channel for more information and more videos on Windows 8.1's various new aspects. This has been Kwaku from NextGen Windows, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.